Sean Styles with you here on Drive Round till 6 o'clock. Great to have your company for another hour now. The Justice Secretary Robert Buckland has reiterated the apology issued by the government to the families of the Hillsborough victims nine years ago. The then Prime Minister David Cameron said sorry in 2012 when an independent panel found police failures were the main cause of the tragedy in which... 96 Liverpool fans died. Now, despite inquest verdicts of unlawful killing, only one person has been convicted of a criminal offence. And last month, three men accused of being involved in a cover-up were found not guilty of perverting the course of justice. Mr Buckland has been speaking in the House of Commons. I will start by reiterating the apology that David Cameron made. That is the government's position. No ifs, no buts. With regard to the prosecution, clearly it was right for the case to be brought. Uh, As Lord Chancellor, I have to respect the process. However, that has had quite a consequence for the families. And I think the important work that now needs to be done by colleagues in the Home Office is to focus on Bishop James Jones' 2017 report and work with the families to make sure that those recommendations are carried out. Now, the Minister was responding to a question from the Garston and Halewood MP, uh, Maria Eagle, uh, who said there'd been a catastrophic failure of the criminal justice system. And uh, Maria Eagle is with us this afternoon. Maria, welcome to the programme this afternoon. How important, Maria, do you think it was that the government apologised to the families again? Was it a symbolic gesture or, or more than that? Well, I asked him in in my question to do so, um, to test the current government's view, because it's been quite clear since the families have been silenced since the inquests for these um, criminal uh, trials to go ahead. The families Mm -hmm. have had to keep quiet. And what's happened is that those who were defending, uh, were uh, acting to defend those charged, have been reiterating all the old slurs, and the families haven't been able to reply. And so I thought it was important um, since two of the defence lawyers actually have come out and made public statements after the end of the trials, reiterating the slurs and denying there was a cover-up. I thought it was important to just get the government to put on the record uh, their support for that apology, because that apology set the record straight. And it's important that that's remembered. So that was important. The other important thing about the response from the Lord Chancellor today to my question was that he acknowledges that legal changes now need to be made to stop this kind of catastrophe from ever happening again to any other families who are bereaved by public disasters. I mean, Robert Buckland promised to work with the families to implement the recommendations from Bishop James Jones' report in 2017. Uh, Bishop James called for a charter for bereaved families and a duty of candour for police officers and public inquiries. Uh, How confident are you that these recommendations will be acted upon, Maria? Well, I think that the job of those of us who are still in Parliament and, and campaigning on this is to make sure that they are And I also think it was important that he was very clear that he's looking at the establishment of an independent uh, uh, public advocate to try and make sure that families bereaved in disasters don't have everything go wrong at an early stage and can stop things going wrong to start with in in these kinds of Mm. situations. And both I and Theresa May... Were, were pressing him on that. And he, he made some very heartening noises about looking at that. I think there are a number of legal changes which, taken all together, could make a real difference to any other families bereaved in public disasters in the future. Because I'm... although now there is no further chance of any criminal convictions in the Hillsborough cases, mm. the families all want to make sure that this never happens again to anybody else, and, and that would be a legacy for their campaign, and I want to make sure that we get those changes. Sure. I mean, the so-called Hillsborough law has been in the pipeline for a while now. How quickly would you like to see the Justice Minister act on this? Well, quickly. Um, And he himself uh, did say in the Commons today that he understands that that speed is important, Uh, and so perhaps a bit quicker than would normally be the case. But, I mean, Andy Burnham's bill was written in 2017. It's still there. My public advocate bill is available, ready written. And so there's no reason why these things can't be done quite quickly. 
but we have to persuade the government of, of the precision of the measures and persuade them about what needs doing. So there is some work to do, but mm. those of us who are still campaigning in the House of Commons um, will try and make sure, we'll hold their feet to the fire and we'll try and make sure that finally the law is changed to make things better for families bereaved by public disasters like Hillsborough. Sure. And, and during the Commons debate, Marie, you also suggested the Crown Prosecution Service uh, as questions to answer over the prosecutions that followed the inquest verdicts of, of unlawful killing. Well, what questions would you like to ask the CPS? Well, the, the, the families who attended um, the, the trials that collapsed have, have, have raised a number of issues about the... Um, vigour with which those cases were fought, about the understanding that the advocates had of, of, of the cases that were being put forward and whether the right charges were laid. Um, so that's something that, that I'll have to take up in other ways. Mm. Um, the Attorney General is, the, is the, the minister responsible. And of course, the DPP, I'm on the Justice Select Committee and the DPP is appearing in front of the Justice Select Committee within the next couple of weeks. So perhaps it's something that I can ask him but I'm um, simply reflecting questions that have been raised with me by families who were in attendance every day at these at these trials. And one thing is very clear: you know, only 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 two of the 14 charges brought against these six men in the last five years have actually been put to a jury. Um, and so there's no doubt about the fact that there's been a failure. Um, and so I think that there are some questions that the CPS will need to answer. Mm. I mean, the Hillsborough Archive contains documents published by the independent panel uh, and evidence given at the Warrington inquest. How important is it that all the information is preserved and made available for future generations, Maria? Oh, it's tremendously important, and not only online, but the actual documents as well. And the, the online archive was taken down to try and make sure that there was no uh, prejudice to these criminal trials. But those trials are now over, so it should be put back up. And um, my colleague, Alison McGovern, raised this issue in the um, in the urgent question this afternoon and got a positive response from the Lord Chancellor. So we expect to see some action on that. It is tremendously important, particularly because there now seems to be, in some quarters, some effort um, to to try and put these old slurs forward again and to suggest that there was no cover-up. So we have to be clear. There was a cover-up. The government has have apologised for it and reiterated that today. And um, the inquest verdict were very clear that no Liverpool supporters had any responsibility for what happened on the day. That was the, largely the failings of the police, but some other failings as well. And we can't allow that narrative that it wasn't the police's fault to escape into the public consciousness again. It's got to be stamped on and stamped on now and the archive being available both online and in in, uh, in practical reality somewhere on paper um, it is an important part of, of making sure that the truth is available for people to see for themselves. Sure. Maria, I know you're busy. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. That's Maria Eagle, uh, Garston and Hayward MP on the programme uh, this afternoon. It's Sean Stiles on.